What's good, everybody? What's good, everybody? Rikiji Pops back in the house. Let me put my mic up here a little bit. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so I had a, I had a, a question uh, from a, a guy named, I think, one of my subs who just subbed to my channel. He gave me a good comment on one of my previous videos. But anyway, he, he asked, I think his name is Will Lance. Um, L -N Sorry if I messed up your name, but Will Lance, L-E-N-Z or something like that. And he said, hey, you know, he said, yo, nice content on, on, on the video. He said, how do you know, how do you get third party uh, sounds and stuff and instruments into the software, into this software, Magic Music Maker? So it's pretty easy, man. So basically you just go out, just go out to the, just go out to the web, man. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna download anything right now, but sure. Just go out in anywhere, man, and like, you know, do free, you know, free. I already got some, like free plugins or whatever, right? And you go find, you know, like some of these, some of these, some of these places are whack, dude. They really are, man. But I mean, they say free, 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 but you get there, and once you go there, they want you to sign up and be, you know, pay nine, you know. But anyway, so find you something free, and once you do that, just download it, right? So like, let me give you an example. So. So I did it previously. So I went and um, so I went and created me a new folder, right? Mister, do I have one open? Hold up. Uh, okay. So I went. Bring them. So I went to in my, my C drive. You know, I have you want to get there, and whether you got Mac or it don't make a difference, MacBook or Windows. And I've created this folder. I right click, just create your new folder. You can call you say you can just say my plugins, my BSW. So I did this right. New plugins and BSTs, right? And I went, so I downloaded this one. It, it was just a, it was just a actual zip file when I first downloaded it, right? So you just, it probably come in a zip file. So you just right click on that and whatever your folder say extract here. So that way it will extract all the files in the folder that you created, right? Once you do that, right? You can either do one or two things. You can, you can go up here and click on this gear icon, right? Right. And it brings up general options, import, audio, media, you know, said me, you probably already know that and not um, maybe. I'm not gonna assume you know it, but you probably do. So, you know, it's all good. Uh, you can do it that way. Also, you can also just, if you don't wanna do that, you can just press, uh, where's my P? You can just press P, right? Not a P on your keyboard. Okay, so what you do next, you go over to folders, right? And see how you have your projects, imports, exports, uh, record, da da da, some sample folders, audio editor, da da da. Okay, so right here, see this button that says add VST plugin, right? Add VST plugin, right? So you go there and you do that. And, and there's a little box pop up. Let me bring it over. See if it's kind of hard to see, all right? There's a little box pops up like this, right? And so once that happens, now I'm, I'm saying I am, I'm in Magic Music Maker Premium 2021. I don't know what, you might have 2014, you might have 2015. It might look a little different, but it's probably similar. So right now, you see, I already have it there, right? But if I didn't have it there, I said, if, if I didn't have it, I said, if I didn't have it, remove some extra you wouldn't see it. So you knew you should add scan pass, right? And you can get your little file, your little explorer files thing to open up and just go find your, you know, whatever folder you made with your extracted DLL or, or, or a little, you know, downloaded files in it. And you say select folder, right? Once you do that, you see it pop in and you say scan now, right? That's how you load your BFC and plugins in, you know? Um, I mean, obviously I'm not an expert, but I, I had to figure some of this stuff out. So, you know, and, you know, depending on your CPU processor, it might take a while for scan. You say, okay, okay, I'm good. And then what you do now is just, if you go over here to your track, like even in here, I can click on track and you see all, you'll see all your, your VSTs that come with Magic Music Maker and all your sound or everything. And you go down, there it is right there. So you click on your, click on, I, Sonatina is that's what I you know that's what I extracted and it's there and then it's uh you know ready to go man you know right ready to play man or right, you you know if you don't got a minute then you, know, you can you know you can come over here and um. Come on your track and just right click, create new MIDI object. You can do four bar, eight bar, and go in here and double click and. Actually, that was a tuba thing I did earlier, right? But you know, do what you need to do, man. And it's good to go. So I hope this helped you, man. 
Um, thank you for the thank you for uh, uh, for giving me a thumbs up on my video, man. Thank you for the question, man. I hope I help you, man. And uh, hey, stay everybody, stay safe, stay strong. Shout out to my subs. Thanks a lot, man. And uh, if y'all know if y'all have any other questions, man, if I know them, I'll I'll definitely help you guys out. And if I don't, I'll find out, man. And we'll you know, Magic Moves Maker Premium, baby. The Magic's man out.